Hey guys, RC here. We are back. This is episode nine in our Bielsa Journeyman. We're with our fourth club, Levante, in the Spanish First Division, second season. And I have drawn the first three rounds of the group for the Champions League as we are a fourth seed team. So these are the groups so far. I, yeah, I, I have no idea. Um, none of the groups look really promising. Maybe Group C, maybe Group B, we could get in as a second seed behind PSG. Maybe we can't go in Group A, we can't go in Group D, maybe Group F. All right, well, let's find out where we go. So we knew we couldn't go there. All right, so this is a possibility. And there we go. All right, so we'll be trying to beat out Rangers and Club Bruges. Uh, PSG is going to probably run away with that. Let's finish out the rounds there. And we are in Group B. So I wanted to come back for that draw. We're also nearing the close of the transfer window. Uh, but we are playing through some league matches right now. Uh, yeah, so anyway. And we will draw PSG. So evidently, Rangers is the second club to beat there. So, if PSG can beat everybody, that would be awesome. And maybe we could do an upset and pull a draw? Maybe? That would be great. All right, let's check the schedule real quick. All right, so that's where we're going to come back. We'll come back for uh, PSG. And I think what I'm going to do here, guys, is during the Champions League, we'll do two matches per episode just to, you know, Constrict the season a little bit, but make sure we really hit the Champions League matches. So no highlights. We'll just go over scores, and we'll have two Champions Leagues. And uh, when we come back for the second match, we'll cover the games in between. Uh, so uh, you can see after the uh, opening win against Atletico Bilbao, uh, we did have a 2-2 draw. Gonzalez scored on a penalty. Kovac scored right before the half. And uh, then uh, we gave up the equalizer, and they had a player sent off seven minutes before stoppage time, and we just could not convert. So uh, anyway, let me get through these next couple of games. We'll be right back for PSV. All right, we have made one move here at the transfer deadline. Still a few hours left, but we have signed Simone Galati, a 20-year-old center back for $1.4 million. Uh, and a 30% sell-on fee, two-star current ability. Uh, he's actually dropped only three and a half star now, but uh, he, we do get a B grade on him. Let me get him welcomed in. So of course, Carlos Pryor, we're trying to sell him. Uh, haven't gotten anything, and I'm finally just about to wash my hands and write him off uh, for free, uh, if we can do that, just to get his salary off the books. He's fourth choice keeper. So, yeah, I need to, need to clear some space. And it looks like uh, Juan Pablo Santin, we just got a bid on him. And he could be leaving us. We've got an offer for $24.5 million up front. Uh, if, we, if he takes that, I'm going to immediately be looking back. Let me go hunting for a goalkeeper. All right, the transfer window is slammed shut. We've been the most active team uh, with 10 players moving around. Uh, none of the big money deals. Let's take a look at our team registration. Uh, right now, we've unregistered uh, two goalkeepers, Carlos Pryor, who we were trying to get rid of. Couldn't get anybody to bid on him. And right at the end here, we uh, moved uh, Daniel Gianelli to the reserve squad. Uh, and he is not going to be available. Just want to make sure everybody else is in there. We will confirm that. All right, let's take a look at these final transfers for you guys. So uh, let's see. Alex Santos, we sold him to Blackburn for 235000 we may have already talked about that. Not a lot of upside. Left back, he could have done the job. Five foot three, but you can see at 38 rating by our scouts, not expected to be very good uh, down the stretch. Adria, our midfielder, we send him out on loan till the end of the season. Uh, 
very, very good player, but I think we had enough there. And he's more of a defensive mid than a true central mid. But um, anyway, we were just trying to get his salary off the books. So they pick up a good chunk of his salary, 90000 a month in total fees. And Torino, we sell him off for 245000 just over his value. Uh, he had a much bigger release clause, but we picked him up on a free. And this is one of those things that I've kind of realized that the transfer, and I did do some research on the uh, SI forums. The release clauses are not a guarantee of what you're going to get. So you just have to make a decision if it's a price that you can live with. And I wanted, you know, I'd much rather get his release clause. I think it was like around $6 million, but nobody came in for that. And when we unregistered him, we just had to get him off the books just to free up some salary. Uh, so we got rid of uh, Adria's salary on loan. Torino goes off uh, as a sale. Uh, we knew about Robinson from earlier in the season. Uh, we bring on, I showed you Galati a minute ago. We paid 1.4 for him. Uh, we have upgraded our goalkeeper from Stefan Pernan. And Francisco, 23-year-old Spaniard, will be our new goalkeeper. Uh, he is on loan from Real Madrid, and so he is the guy that we will bring in to hopefully see us through the cup. At least I'm assuming I'm going to play him. I haven't actually done a comparison because we hadn't finished scouting him yet. Uh, so, yeah, he's much better at shot stopping, much better in the air. A little worse at distribution, a little faster, equal physicals, a little on the lower, you know, a slightly lower in, in mentals, communications right there. So, yeah, I think Francisco is an upgrade uh, for this season. Uh, Pernan definitely gives us a quality reserve keeper now. Uh, whether he's happy doing that, we'll have to wait and see. And... We had gotten a bid on Jacobo Navarro, and it met his release clause, uh, and he ended up rejecting the contract. But I was, wasn't was wanting to get caught out. Uh, so 6.75 was his release clause. Um, he ended up rejecting the deal, and you know what? Santine never made a decision from Hoppenheim either. Uh, that one's still alive, I guess, although we aren't going to get that money in this window. So uh, Louise will be next year. But Navarro was leaving. Uh, sorry, I get distracted sometimes. So we went out and picked up uh, Jeremias Everton uh, on loan, and he is from the Brazilian First Division. Uh, he can play left back and right back, although he is left-footed. Decent crossing, but marking, passing, tackling, uh, pace, decision-making. I mean, he's all there. So he's not the most talented player at our side. He is 29. And I want to say we have a, yeah, 4.55 million future fee. I don't know if we're going to take that or not. We'll see how he plays and then what we look like for next season. I think I would like to probably get somebody younger uh, in more permanent. So anyway, that is what's going on there. Catching you up on the schedule, we still have a couple of games before the Champions, uh, kick off, Champions League kicks off. Uh, so let me get to that, and we'll be back for PSG in just a moment. All right, we are back for the PSG game. I've taken a break. Today was the Champions League final between Man City and Chelsea, so I watched that. And I got something I want to share with you guys. Not that you'll care, but, you know, you might. So my favorite band, so I'm. Uh, you guys know I'm a little older. I'm 54 years old. I just had my birthday a couple of weeks ago. And my birthday present to myself is a new release for my favorite band, which is Motley Crue. But it is the Red Smoke vinyl uh, for Motley Crue's greatest hits. So uh, very, very happy to have that. Uh, just to remind you of the transfer business, because it's been a few minutes, you know, it's been a couple hours for me. But 
Uh, oh, also, we need to catch you up to date on the matches. So uh, the 2-2 draw with Malaga, 2-0 win over Laganas, and a 2-1 victory over Vigo. Uh, Ilamarendi has scored in two consecutive matches. Kovac, two out of three as well. So we are off to a good start to the season. Now it's time for Champions League and see if we can hang with the big boys. I tell you what, this Corbetta kid looks good too. He just can't find a place in the team right now. All right, we're going to go with uh, our new goalkeeper, Francisco. Oh, by the way, he has uh, started two games, allowed one goal, has one clean sheet already, and he looks like he's going to fit in. Pernan, I think, would have been good for the league, but I was looking for an upgrade with us going into Champions League. So. Hopefully, Real Madrid's goalkeeper is uh, the answer here. Navarro, Fernandez, Kovac, and Garay on the back line. Enrique Martinez in the mid. Mecca and Nandrik Nass on the attacking wings. And Illa Marindi and Ibanez up top as our strike partnership. Ibanez is back in the squad. He's, uh, you know, between injuries and um, suspensions. Yeah, you know, we got uh, we got some problems with him, but uh, we need him to perform because he is good. And let's get to it. We are in the blue and red. PSG are in the white. It would be really interesting, wouldn't it? Oh, my God. Over the top to Ilamarindi. Oh, I don't know if that was a square or a tackle away from him, but that was so close to breaking open early. Oh, look at the deft heading there. It would be nice to be able to steal a win here, right? And then, you know, that would probably get some teams' attention in France, you think? Oh, Illa Marindi tried to square it inside. Not a good job. Oh, taken away by Mecca into the box, and that was a poor finish. He had Illa Marindi and Ibanez over there. Oh, gone it. All right, Martinez. Garay. Look at that clearance back. Just pinpoint accuracy, man. They are so deadly. Stabbed away by Kovac. That's a great job. And what a save by Francisco. I think that would have been in at the at the post. Great job by him, earning all the accolades already. And yeah, oh, that was beautiful. Seventh goal of the season for Kemp. I don't need to watch that again because that was too graphic. I'll have to put an adult sticker on my video for that, I'm afraid. All right, let's encourage him a little bit. We've got four shots to their three. We actually have a better XG. So I would love to pull a draw with these guys. That's, that's kind of the goal. I think they're going to win the group. But I would like to try in one of the two matches at least to pull a draw. That would be the goal. And if we could do a Real Madrid to them, that would just be astounding. But I'm not expecting anything against these guys. All right, that was a soft finish that goes wide of the mark. We've got some guys that are just not playing up to snuff here. All right, Garay crosses it in, and it's Ilamarindi. And it counts, I think. Yes, and there's an equalizer in the 33rd minute. I was wondering if he was off sides. Oh, he took a step back right there. Oh, perfectly timed run. Caught it on the volley. Low cross. Back post. I don't think it was very... No, it wasn't close at all. Carrero really kept him on. He was a good step, step and a half on sides. Gotta love that movement. And he has turned out to be the real deal. Oh, my goodness. If that could have been about five feet to the left, I think Ilamarindi would have been looking at a brace. All right. 
Nass chasing Schubert all the way across the field. Navarro. Don't know if he got a foot on that, but he really messed up the shot effort. And I could, I could be happy at this point if we can walk out of here with a draw. Okay, good defense, boys. There's Nass. He takes a crack. Oh, I think Ibanez really wanted that ball. No, I hate these. Yep, top bin, second goal of the season for Wahab. Set pieces, man. Those are, if you've got a good set piece taker, you can score a lot of goals like that. Ah. Now he just bent it in. Francisco, he was going. He, he had the right play in mind. And that drops us to bottom of the table. Oh, that's disappointing. We still have been the better side, arguably. Uh, let's pump the fists. You've been the better team. Motivated. Let's encourage them. They're playing well. All right, Martinez. Oh, Francisco, what a snag. He does great to hold on to that. If I if I remember correctly, this is uh this is his debut for you guys on camera. Nass crossed in. It's there. Put away by Ilamarindi. He's got a brace. That's number five. Mecca with a nice little touch over to him to slot it home. That was a thing of beauty right there. A little bit of lag. That's interesting. I see a lot of people have that on occasion. I think S Santa probably should have had that. Mecca could have taken a crack at it, but he lays it over to the hot hand or the hot foot. All right, I want to look at something here. All right, I want to move Ibanez over to there. We'll pull Enrique off for Gonzalez. Gonzalez should have been starting anyway. We're going to give him praise now. Come on, fellas. I'll still be extremely happy with a draw. Come on. All right, let's go ahead and pull another sub here. Anybody? Yeah, okay. It needs to be one of these two guys. Nass is on the right. Let's bring Garcia on for him. We're going to drop back to balanced. Stay on them, boys. Stay on them. Oh, Sorare beats two players. Oh, what a finish by Nikovic. Oh, my goodness. And that's his first goal of the season? That was pretty damn good. All right, and... Yeah, I can't bring Mecca off. Actually, no, I don't have a number 10. I'm going to bring uh, Fazakas on for Navarro. Let's do that. I wish I had another attacking player, but I don't. Uh, we're going to go back up to positive. Ibanez, Mecca. Mecca beats his man. He's taken down in the box. They're going to look at that for a penalty. I think they're going to VAR. Yep, they are. What's the call? And it is a penalty. Ilamarindi for his hat trick, and he slots it home just past Kamare. And what a game by Ilamarindi. I tell you what. Some of these big clubs around Europe might come sniffing for this guy now. I think he has gotten on some radars today. I am not anxious to lose him. But, you know, we've already determined that we are probably going to have to be a selling team. At least for a while. You know, at least for a while. Oh, it's up to Gonzalez. It's squared in. Oh! Oh, no. <laughs> no. Well, we could have had it. 
Five minutes of stoppage time. Oh, don't let them steal this from us. Don't get FM'd. No, 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 no. How did we miss that tackle? It wouldn't have mattered. Even if he would have tackled it, if he would have gotten a foot on the ball, we know it would have went right to the PSV guy or PSG guy. Disallowed. Oh, my. Offsides. Oh, yeah. Oh, whew. You guys probably knew that. I did not. I was sweating that out. Oh, it's taken away by Garcia. Poor, poor pass. Ibanez, what the hell was that? Oh, they've got numbers. Look at that. Look at that. He got a foot on it, and sure enough, it went right to the damn defense attacker. That's such bullshit. Come on, SI. We expect better than that. That is utter crap. I've seen that all of my, like every game, every game, every game I watch, Lelugio, Loki, Aussie villain, me, every game I watch, there is an issue like that. And it doesn't happen to the, to, to the AI. Come on, boys. I need a stop here. I need a stop. Oh, man. All right. I'm not questioning Francisco yet, but five goals, and they've just come in a spurt, man, and they've just cut us open. Could have to do the fact that we're just dragging ass. I think we have to be happy with the game. We played well. We had a great XG. Just, they just converted. Oh, that is brutal. I'm going to go outstretched arms. Best, yeah, keep them motivated. That's That's got to be the goal here. We got like 17 million for qualifying for the group stage, which was nice. Oh, that was just heartbreaking. Illa Marindi, five headers, three goals. Oh, that's brutal. Brutal. All right, well... We'll come back for, uh, because we did transfers this episode, it did run a little long, so we're just going to do the one match. We'll come back for two uh, two champions uh, leagues, uh, Rangers and Club Bruges next episode. So come back for that. Hit the like button. Subscribe for daily football manager content. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, guys. Oh, uh, Ilan Marindi. <sighs> That's heartbreaking. All right. We'll see you guys later.